Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Manor Lords. We're going to start by improving your FPS with some optimization in Windows. And after that, we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for example, here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's gonna show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically. And you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized so it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering so i really recommend to use that one last thing is um i have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking cpu overclocking gpu depending on your brand and stuff and it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide i don't touch voltage so it's pretty safe you can expect sometimes two percent ten percent boost in your fps depending on your thermal depending on your component but it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your pc um, for the best performance so now let's go inside of the game so now for the display mode i really recommend to go with full screen in borderless and window i was losing some fps for the resolution i recommend to go with uh, your native resolution depending on your monitor after that, anti-aliasing, for sure if you have an RTX card, go with DLSS. I recommend to go with quality, honestly. Uh, you're going to uh, gain like 15% in your FPS. At balance, it will be something like 18 to 19%. And performance, you can expect 23%. But honestly, performance and balance are kind of blurry. So my recommendation is go with quality. If you have a Radiant card, definitely go with FSR. It's pretty, the, pretty much the same concept than RTX uh, DLSS. So uh, like go with quality. I'm not a huge fan of balance and performance. And if you have an RTX card, definitely go with DLSS over FSR. It's a lot better for your image quality in this game i'm not a huge fan of taa so if you don't have fsr or dlss i recommend to go fxaa basic anti-aliasing at default and don't touch your render scale go with 100 percent for dynamic dlss it's kind of uh, interesting uh, for for example for myself i have a 7800 x3d cpu with the 4090 from NVIDIA. So if I deactivate the dynamic DLSS, I will get like 290 FPS, something like that, at everything at Ultra. But if I activate this one, uh, the dynamic DLSS, I will go at 240 because it's the amount of Hertz of my monitor. And my image quality will be a lot better. I will be almost on par with DLA. So the thing is, Depending on the objective, it can be your frame rate or the amount of Hertz of your monitor. They will adapt the uh, downscale uh, from the DLSS. So you don't have a proper DLAA option. But if you're using DL uh, dynamic DLSS sorry, and you do a lot more than your Hertz from your monitor, you will almost be on par with the DLLA um, uh, resolution, so your native resolution. So that's pretty good. You can definitely test it. I see a big difference in my image quality. But if you're struggling with FPS, don't use this option. After that, VSync, I'm not using it. Question of preference, honestly. Uh, you don't really care about adding some input lag in this game. Max frame rate, I go unlimited. If you're struggling with your thermal, I recommend to lock the amount of FPS with the amount of Hertz of your monitor. Sharpening, I like to go with medium. The game feels a little bit blurry for me. Uh, definitely do some testing. If it's blurry, go with eye. If you feel that it's too clear, too detailed, go with off. Shader quality, 2% to 3 difference between ultra and eye. I saw 2% difference with medium and 1% at low. So I feel like eye is a good compromise for your image quality. And also it really, really depends on what computer that you're using. Are you struggling with your FPS right now or not? But this one is not a huge deal for your FPS. Shadow quality, this one is huge. Ultra to low, you can expect 20% boost. I recommend to go with medium to have a decent image quality. 
Post-processing, you can expect a nice 9% boost at medium. So again, I recommend to go with medium. The game looks very flat at off. And pretty much the same thing with bounce light approximation. Medium is a good balance. Uh, it will not tank too much your FPS. I and Ultra tanks a lot your FPS. I was getting some random drop on my laptop. So don't use those one. Volumetric Cloud. This one is pretty huge. It's 9% if you deactivate. Uh, increase in your FPS. So if you're struggling with your FPS, when you're mo moving, you're stuttering, you're lagging and stuff like that, definitely go with off. Uh, if you don't have any issue, go with on. Texture, te uh, terrain texture resolution. If you have like 6 gig and more of VRAM, definitely go with ultra. 4 gig at high, 3 gig at medium. And less than 3 gig, go with low. The last one is view distance. This one can tank a lot your FPS. I recommend to go medium everywhere. If you're struggling with your FPS, definitely go with low. Uh, it will help a lot. This one is huge. It's like almost 3% for each bracket, for each one. So depending on how many FPS that you, you, you have. And also, uh, if you don't really mind to play at 60, you can maybe put this one higher. But you will see that tanks a lot your FPS in this game. When you zoom out, you zoom in, you will see a big difference. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my Matter Lord guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.